Now let's talk a little bit about the HUD. As you guys can see, pretty much everything you need is on the screen, man. Um, you've even got your, your FPS counter. You've got what I assume will be the positions once there's more cars on the track. Just me at the moment. So it's only got my name and my car. Um, also the lap times and your best lap times, your last lap time. What I do like here, down here in this section, I believe it's down here, right here, this Delta, it actually gives you the sector times, which is something I've wanted on ACC absolutely ever. And it helps you keep a much better track of your lap overall, man. I've always thought that, you know, in, in modern sim racing games, you have to have the sector times, man so important on your laps because you know when you've nailed the first sector and you know like listen I, I've, I've got to got to like make sure i keep this lap up because you know when you've done a good sector or not whereas in acc you know if you're up on your time you're up on your time but you don't know how well you've done your first sector and, and you know stuff like that um again as we come down here we see the the force feedback um HUD and TC, ABS, brake bias. Um, I'm sure this is engine mix and we, you know, we can't go into setups yet, so we can't see or change the engine mix. So you have to do everything on the fly. So you have to sort of set up a hotkey for all these things like ABS. So I've set up a hotkey for like brake bias and stuff like that. If I want to change brake bias, I can go up and down. Or TC settings, I can go up and down and stuff like that. Also ABS. I think I said, did I set up a, I thought I set up a hotkey for the ABS. Obviously I didn't. Um, and of course we have the, the tire, the tire HUD, which is again, kind of reminds me a little bit of, of P cars because it's got a 1.68 bar. Now we don't use bar on, on ACC. So, um, I t to be honest, I can't even remember. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've played project cars, but we did used to use bar. I'm pretty sure we did. So um, not not too clued up on what the correct tire pressures or temperatures are going to be. But what what I can say is um, you do notice very quickly when you start overheating your inside um, rear tires, and it definitely definitely has correlation between how the car behaves on track instantly. As soon as them rear tires start getting yellow on the on the inner side. Bro, the back end becomes a lot more sketchy. And as I said previously before, probably the, the, the weakest part about the force feedback is having that feeling from the rear of the car. But um, other than that, I, I do like the HUD a lot, man. Every every piece of information you, you've got, um, even in the top right hand corner, you've got your incident points. This is probably going to be, you know, when you're cutting the track or, or extending the track or whatever. You know, position, laps, you've got your practice timer. The lap timer down in the bottom left, your best time, your last time, your ideal lap, everything is there. Um, and yeah, man, I, I like it a lot. I like the, the HUD, I think it's nice and clean and it gives you all the information you want. So um, in that respect, I'm pretty happy with with um, the HUD so far. And of course, we can also go into um, visually how we want to affect the game in terms of you know the quality of of your of your game if you want to turn the shadows off and stuff like that we're able to do that even though it's just the beta we still are able to run the game lower or higher depending on whatever your graphics card is my graphics card is a 20 2080 so it's it's decent um but of course if you're not running anything as high you can afford to turn things down um other than that, guys, man, it's it's you know it's definitely definitely got a lot of potential. Um, I do feel like <coughs> hopefully, hopefully we can get more more cars put into the game, more tracks put into the game. At the moment, it's Hockenheim, Monza, Spa, and Nurburgring, the tracks that we we've seen being raced in the in the esports series. And uh, uh, bro, I have to say, man, them them. Them guys in the esports series are insane. I mean, I, I can do a, a 38, I think, pretty comfortably around this track. But for them guys are doing like low 36s and there's no setup, guys. This this is just straight, just raw pace. There's no setup tricks. There's nothing to, you know, nothing to change in the car setup, really. 
I, I, I'd probably say they're probably running extremely low ABS and extremely low TC or having TC off. Just judging by how much the TC cuts in um, while driving. So I would think they're probably running with that off. So it's going to be another one of them games like, I believe Project Cars was like that as well. You know, if you wanted to be fast, you couldn't really run TC majority of the time. So, you no, know, it's kind of, you know, kind of like that. It's not as punishing as turning off TC on ACC, which is like, you can't run zero TC on ACC. It's, it's pretty much impossible. You're never going to in lap time you might be able to flick it down out of certain corners but over a whole lap it's not going to work on this game it's not as hard to run zero tc so um yeah hopefully hopefully um we get a little bit more feeling towards the rear end of the car which will help aid people not running traction control trying to keep up with these esports sweats that are just insane but yeah guys i i, I do feel like there's going to be a market Depending on how much different cars and how much content we get for this game, there's definitely going to be a market. So, um, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Scripted TMG, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.